with uh, me, Kingsley, and the Guardians of Axam. So really in this session we're going to continue on with the work that we have been doing on creating the purchase decks. So I'm going to go through some artwork first because I always like to uh, start with some nice looking artwork. And also um, I think I managed to sort my cameras and my lights out a bit better now. As you can see there is much better lighting and there's much less um, weird after effects of the lights. And last time I had like a fuzzy edge in the corner. <laughs> so I think I managed to sort that out. I still look a bit, the colour looks a bit red, I think a little bit. Uh, but I'm sure we'll uh, fix that uh, in the next few uh, sessions. And also, as you can see, no beard. <laughs> which I'm starting to regret slightly because it's been so cold uh, here in London. I mean, not like real cold, not cold like you'd get minus 40 or whatever in the US or in parts of Europe like Poland or, you know, not super, super cold, but cold enough that us British people feel pretty cold. So my beard, it was giving me some nice sort of winter protection so I'll have to uh, regrow it <laughs> um, to keep myself warm also uh, I've been on a New Year's resolution diet so I've been trying to cut down on chocolate and biscuits and crisps you know the things when you're a programmer you just sit and eat so you'll turn on the computer you'll sit down there'll be a bowl of chocolates or sweets or biscuits or whatever and you'll just sit there and program and just eat them you know just constantly so I'm definitely trying to uh, avoid that kind of thing all right sorry I was getting sidetracked there with uh, thinking about food let's go find the artwork that we can show okay here we go artwork The first thing is, let's drag this over here. I did a really rubbish drawing of the kind of art that we need for the interface for the game. And uh, this is uh, one of the concept ideas of the artwork. So it's got uh, the filter across the top and this is like the collector's view. So as a user, when you've bought some decks, this is how you see all of the cards that you have and all the decks that you built. So you can filter by theme, rarity, mana, attack, defense, and then drag the cards into the deck that you want. So when you click on your chosen deck, this right hand panel will turn into a list of all the cards in the deck and the quantities. And then you can just drag cards in between and then when you click on one of the cards, it's going to enlarge that card. There's another screenshot of that. So this is, for example, you click on Angel Euphrates card and the card will zoom up in big. And then you'll see the information or additional information about the card. And then you can close it take you back to the original view so this is just still concept ideas about how we can make this work but yeah it's looking pretty good so I also want to show the final artwork from Daphne Daphne the undead Daphne the undead pirate uh, let me just find her artwork so, Daphne, uh, 
is here. Uh, downloads Daphne. Uh, what's happened to Daphne? Oh, Daphne's having a bit of a problem loading. Come on, Daphne. Let's try that again. Oh, I see. It's still downloading. Maybe my uh, streaming is uh, causing a bit of a slow go on the uh, on the download. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Uh, basically, uh, it's trying to download it. And it's probably quite a heavy file. And probably all the streaming I'm doing, because I'm streaming at quite a high resolution, it's probably uh, causing the issue. Ah, here we go. I've got it. I'll just bring her into view here. So she is the second in command, Daphne the Undead. Uh, pirate warrior and you can see here that she's got these awesome skulls and she's got a pretty cool sword like a cutlass kind of weapon and she's now got some jewelry and she's got a little bit more detail on her hair and on her face and now we've got this like moon in the background with swirling kind of misty color coming off her uh, off, her, off her weapon and she's also got this um, extra sort of gold around the belt and just gold decoration really I really like the skulls uh, so she uh, Daphne is now finished and the next thing coming up is going to be uh, Abraxius, who is a demon. So Abraxius is going to have a uh, big nose, carry a whip and have a snake for a tail. And we'll be working through a big list of all the cards, all the characters that we need um, for the card pre-sale and for the game. Okay, that's the artwork. Let's have a look where we were with this purchase decks. So generate card data with a set of cards for each deck and rarity. Write plug code for insert user cards. Choose a minimum of five for the rarity. Finish specs for insert user cards. Okay, let's see how far we get with this stuff. So first of all, I'll just close that down. Let's uh, have a recap of what we have so far. Um, me at me dot com. Let's log in here. Shop admin purchase decks. Yeah, so we go to admin. We've only got really one card that we can possibly purchase at the moment. So we'll need to add more cards programmatically. I think that's the first task to maybe have a button on the admin panel where you can just also generate a quantity of cards for a particular deck and rarity. So let's say I want um, 20 cards of the demon deck in a certain rarity and I'll just give it a random name, random description and then maybe we'll also offer the some uh, a bit of control over the mana health and attack. Uh, but right now I think it may be enough to yeah maybe I've just to randomise the, those bits, and then we can. Uh, figure out what to do after that. So I think we'll start our admin panel and we'll say admin let's make this a bit bigger error 
edit card, do edit card, render table, render card. Okay, so here we go, render view, admin, here's the form. And then we've got existing cards. So I think we'll have an extra section here, which we'll call Um, create a ran random quantities create or create random cards. How's that look? Uh, oops, error. Oh yeah. Here we go, create random cards. Yeah, a little bit on the small side. That's better. Okay, great. So, create random cards. Uh, we'll put our HR under there as well, I think. HR. And then we'll do a form. So, random card generation form. And We'll put all the things we need in the form. So the form, I guess, is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, where should I put it? Up here. Okay, so this is going to return HTML. I'm going to have a field set. Field set and within the field set we will put everything we need so the first thing we will take is a form group like this one okay let's have a look at that Now I wonder, should I put this inside a card? Kind of feels like it would go nice inside a card. So we'd have like the card head, card body, and then the field set. Um, and then close a couple of divs under here. One, two, that's good. So this should say uh, form title. What's this? Create a card. So this will be create random cards. Generate random cards. Then we'll give it a deck and a rarity and everything else I think will just be random. So let's find our deck and rarity um, drop downs that we made earlier. So description, oh here we go, uh, rarity and deck. We'll take these two. And we'll use those up here. Uh, input form group into here. And this is going to be random input deck. 
So field set, random input deck, uh, deck theme. Select deck theme, so this is select random deck theme on random deck. Select deck options, they're the same. And then input random rarity, select random rarity on random rarity. And select rarity options would be uh, random rarity and actually select rarity options select deck options let's just check that one out uh, so that's got deck hard coded so really now we need to pass in the deck let's find out where we use this So here, pass in a deck. Uh, this is on deck, pass in a deck. And then deck, and then, okay. So one of these, okay, so this needs to be a random deck. So I need two states, extra states up here. I will have a state random deck string state random rarity string. So I could have reused the other ones, but then it, it gets a bit confusing later on if you sort of mix the two up. So I could also move this into its own component, which might make it easier as well. Right, get select options deck string. Um, oh, deck, that's a get, that's why, so that's become a fun, uh, do random cards, okay, again, we had that problem, generate, yeah, I ended up having nested things in there somehow. Uh, right, on random deck, let's go up here and we'll create on rarity on deck. I think we'll put them at the bottom. On random deck on random. Uh, nope. <laughs> I don't want to turn on dictation. Uh, random rarity. Well, you know, it really feels like I should put this in its own component. I will. Generate random cards. Uh, generate random decks, I don't know, component generate random decks, okay, fun render HTML, and we'll go and put our stuff in here, generate random decks, okay, so admin, so we'll just borrow these, Random decks, put them up here, back to admin, let's uh, go down, 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 um, down further, yeah, select deck options. So these options, we would like to use them in two places now, so we can probably extract this off into common uh, let's put it first select deck options 
yes and the select option seems good and then this whole get random card generation form this whole thing uh, disappears and we ditch this and in fact we replace the this thing here with um, a call to generate random decks and then generate random decks will have this here so we've got the common and then we can go back just to having rarity and deck and in fact we can just go back to having input deck select deck theme input rarity uh, select rarity and on deck on rarity and then this would be common select deck options then we need a couple of states state deck is a string state rarity rarity is a string and there we go is that going to compile let's go let's go uh yes on deck let's change this to on deck change this to on rarity is it good not quite select deck options deck four four one in admin uh, i know because we removed the function we abstracted it into common so it should be common and that's good let's check it very good so now we have this usable component reusable component that we can use to select the item and i think i remember it's better to set the defaults here uh, in as angels and uh, rare I think is that the two angels and rare yes just because I think if I was to select um, demons and insane and clear it Yes, so it resets those two. I think I set them. Did I set them? No, I didn't set them. Well, it clears them. Oh, it sets them and it clears them. Fine, so this is all good. So we don't need these two states that I added. But I do need now a button. I'm going to borrow the button from admin. Oh, we also want to select an amount and the amount selection is very similar to what we had in the original form uh, so also I think I have the same thing on the button we will not let them press it until some things are selected so this is the button well i'll just take the button let's put it at the bottom here this is going to just be called generate i think on click we'll just have generate random decks and the button state is good so create button state 
Oh dear. Yeah, it's getting towards the end of the week, so definitely starting to feel um, the tiredness coming in. Uh, and also, I don't have any tea with me today, so I'm definitely um, feeling a little uh, thirsty. Water is nice, but not as good as tea. Right, let's get going. Generate random cards. Um, create a button state. Let's create one of those. I think I'll just borrow this one. Create a button state. Here we go. Let's put that here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So really, at the moment, let's comment that out and return false. Does it like that? No. It doesn't like it. Is that better? Uh, 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 double colon. Enum. What's this? So can we double colon that has space instead? Uh, create button state. Oh, I know why. Small f is required. Okay, generate random decks. Generate random decks. Going to take an event. And return a promise. Never void. I want a promise. Never to start with. There we go. Uh, all good. Right, let's add two things. Uh, something to choose the quantity. We've got some number input types somewhere in here that we had before. Uh, enter a name, deck theme, rarity, Description, okay, mana. Mana is a number type. So we'll put uh, just under the thing here, the button. Here we'll put input quantity. And we'll put quantity uh, on quantity, quantity input quantity enter quantity of cards or well, enter quantity number max 100 um, yeah that should be enough so now we should have a form oh yes we need to create on quantity and quantity up here Quantity and on quantity. Uh, quantity. Quantity. All good. Let's have a look. Create random cards. So I could say, give me ten. Rare Angel cards. Now we don't have common in this list. Um, it's probably a good idea that we add common. Let's come back to that.
okay, so the generator will do nothing right now. And do I need a clear button? Probably. Let's do clear as well. Again, we'll do something similar to this clear. Do clear. Which will just clear out the values. And it's only quantity. that we set back like that and then deck becomes angels rarity becomes rare and we get rid of those looking good so now after yes then we um, Need to do create button state here, so we'll just say if string is empty at quantity. Well, don't even need that. Oh. Wrong key combination there. Okay, and yes, so now we have to actually put a quantity in order to generate it. So I'll we'll auto generate us mana, health and attack. And a bit later on we'll have to start adding things like effects. So we'll be adding um, uh, various effects that will build up the description of the card. But not quite there yet. Okay, so now when you, okay, let's have a clear button. Uh, the same way as we have a clear button here. So what's this do? Clear button. Yes, clear button. Um, so this could be common, but I'd have to pass in a callback. So for now I'm going to take it because it's uh, it requires a callback to make it usable and it's a bit of a pain and we can do it later if we need to so this is going to be clear I think oh yeah left margin Let's borrow that. There we go. So now, oh yes, we need to actually put the button on the card, uh, on the thing here. Uh, value, I don't need value. And I can make that a get. Uh, so down here, that's the first button, and this is the clear button. Good, good. So 23, clear. Okay, that's looking good. So now on the generate, we would like to put some action. So that's generate random decks. So again we'll follow the same pattern. We'll have a, a function that does the call. It'll be a post probably. Very like do save card. We'll have a success response and an error response. which we'll put right here. Okay, 
so we'll change this generate random decks to be this one. You get rid of that. And now we will pass an event and we'll create um, this is generation data. We'll give it the deck and the rarity and a quantity like that and then this is generation data uh, encode uh, card data this is more like um, what should I call this request data encode the generation data and then request data restringify it okay this is going to be api a post api generate card generate cards generate decks And on success, clear it. All right, let's create a generate generate error. Could not generate cards. And our generate error, we will put up here as a state. And we need to render, I think we have that common uh, common renderer. Yes, this is the guy, common lips. He's in the field set at the top of the render here. Uh, yes, yeah, so he's here at the moment in the admin. No, he's actually inside the, f the field set, sorry. Uh, this should not be a error, this should be generate error. Uh, what's the problem here? Admin error. Next admin error. 116. One, two, three. Okay, so that's error response. That should be all good. Um, success is all good. Uh, oh, yes, generate error. And this will return the same stuff exactly. So it's all looking great. Reload. I oh, know we still got an error on um, something. Oh, page and generate error. Yes, I see. So we do need a page here. Well, that's interesting. Because that means I should really move page off to a store. So I can share the setting the page with multiple uh, uh, components. Yeah, so I think I'll have to create an admin store. Uh, admin store dot lint. This will be a store. Um, admin store. 
and here we'll start saving data. So we'll have a state, and I think at the moment we've got, let's go to the top here, we've got a page. So this page state will move from admin onto the admin store. And then in here as well, we'll have some functions to set the admin store. Yeah, that makes sense. So if we have a uh, function called set uh, page and or set admin page, is this really page? Maybe this should be called uh, content, page content. And we'll say, well, maybe I shouldn't call it page content. Maybe I should call it uh, page container. Okay. Set page container. And we're going to set it to be whatever value we pass. So this will just return a promise never void. We'll just do next and we'll say page container is going to be just um, maybe 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 just uh, value This value will be a page, I believe. No, a cards page. All right. So now we want to reapply that in admin. So if I get rid of page here. And then instead I uh, connect admin, admin store, exposing page container and set page container. Everywhere that we were using page, let's find page. Uh, right, so next this page instead of doing the next here we would actually do set page container and give it the cards page and ditch this this would be Page container. This would be uh, that's fine. And that's part of this one. So is that all I need? Uh, let's go to generate random decks. Let's say connect admin store exposing page container and set page container that's these two and how's that look 93 in general random decks 93 oh yes this is the thing we'll ditch this and we'll say here uh, set page container um, cards page yes all good okay so we've just moved off the, uh, uh, the functionality into the store there so we can share it between both parts so this should still work 
uh, three, four, six, save. Yep, edit. Superman. Powerful alien. Update that. Okay, all good. Oh, what happened to my rarity? Yes. Okay, this is the thing I was wondering at, at the start. If I don't change the rarity, it's not going to work. So I need to set a default rarity and a default deck. Angels rare. Let's try that again. So let's say I don't change anything here. Save. Yes, that's great. Let's edit this and update it and it should be, nope, it didn't work. Why did that not work? Clear. Uh, edit. When I click edit, what happens? Edit. Edit card. Uh, edit. Okay, so I click edit card. Oh, it sets the value. All right, let's change this to epic and update. All right, so if I then do that again, so I don't put anything two, three, six, save it. Oh, now I've lost the deck and the rarity. Interesting. Not so good. Deck equals. Uh, oh, clear. Right, this is the problem. We should set the default on clear. Okay, great, great. Let's do it again. Let's edit this and update it credit card uh four no five six eight uh, save yes that's good okay so now when i reload this change this to epic and update it oh my deck I need to change my deck. Okay. One more go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, awesome. It's all working. Uh, I don't have delete yet, so probably delete would be good. Um, I'm wondering if bulk delete would be the way to go so I have a load of ticks tickable things with one button because it is a bit of a pain to um, if you've got like 500 to go and delete each one uh, but I think that's polish I don't think we should uh, change that just yet okay so we've got um, Admin, we can create a card. Now we've hooked up, we've done the front end for create random cards, and now on to um, doing the back end to generate the random cards. So for the existing cards, we have uh, a decent enough admin panel here. So once we've generated a whole stack of cards, then we'll move on to the back onto the purchase card. So we'll go to the shop and we'll purchase the decks and we'll choose the uh, rarity and the number of decks and then we'll buy and that will give the, that this user uh, we could use having some user information up here as well because we are logged in 
so we should know which user it is. Um, maybe the email address or the name can go up here. And then we'll be able to um, purchase it and associate it with this user. Then when this, when this user goes back to the dashboard, we'll have a second link or button here, which takes them to the collection so they can go view their uh, collectors, uh, their, their game card collections. So I think the first step then is to move to the back end and I said we were going to uh, post, where's the post, uh, here we go, on success, um, yeah we're going to post to API generate decks so we'll go to the back end and look at that. So this is the back end. Uh, actually, I've got the purchase one here, um, which is waiting, but we can't get onto that till we do this generate first. So API, uh, maybe I should do dex generate. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? I think so. The context here, and then want to be logged on so and then we're going to have some parameters uh, passed to us which will be the um, generate decks and this will be I'm going to call it gen decks so UA generate decks so that's going to be like the purchase decks <clears throat> so we'll go to the uh, UI and yes it's going to look like this one just for this one uh, new file, purchase decks. This will be generate decks. That's CL, generate decks. There we go. And we're going to have the deck, the rarity, and the quantity. And we will go and check here. Let's switch this around so it's decks generate generate okay so that's going to help us generate the the decks that we'll use for the game so you come to the panel you'll be able to generate random cards to fill up the list of existing cards that are available in the game and then you'll be able to as a player uh, come to the dashboard go to purchase decks and purchase a number of decks i think here because this is the uh, testing mechanism we will also add functions so that we can test, uh, so you can build your own specific decks to play against. So instead of just going through the purchase route like this, you can say, right, I'm going to, uh, I want to play against, I want to test the mechanics playing against this particular deck, and then you can just create that deck uh, and run various testing scenarios against it. And that will really give us good control over getting the game mechanics right before we do all the animation and uh, all the graphical stuff. Okay, so we go next step into back end. So now here we need to do some generation. And I think a good place to put this is on one of the repos. Card repo user repo so when we generate all these cards it feels like in this case it should go on card repo so let's say def generate random cards and we'll give it um, the deck that we want to generate for, we'll give it the uh, um, rarity and we'll give it the quantity which right now is a string but we'll convert it and this will generate them and write them into the database so we'll get a 
a DB success with an array of um, all of the cards, URI card that we created. And so that's the main wrapper. But actually, I think the generation part we could pull out into a util. Uh, because that's purely going to be generating the cards, then we'll just loop around in here and actually produce them. Uh, so let's create a new file called generator, card generator, uh, .cr. This is going to be a class card generator. Okay, and then we'll pass in def initialize how oh, this always editor helps me way too much it's like hey Kingsley I'm gonna help you out by giving you extra words that you don't need <laughs> uh, so yes okay we're passing the uh, deck which is a string and the rarity rarity actually do can we do this here can we do it we're going to create a bunch of cards here. And do the cards need to know anything? Not really. Okay, we can do it here. Yeah. And the quantity, which right now is, well, it'd be nice if we could get this into an int32 before we pass it in here. Okay, so what will we do first? First, we will say, for this deck and this rarity, generate me a card. And we need um, one of these cards. I'll just borrow this. A uh, card generator. So this is the thing we're trying to produce. So that will be a card, card.new. It's going to take a name, so we need a random name. I don't know where we'll get that from. Get random name. And the deck, well, we've got the deck. We've got the rarity. The description can just be anything. Then now we need to do get mana, get uh, health, and get attack. They're the current random things that we have to deal with. So we can ditch that now. So now we need to make the right quantity of these. So now we need to say at quantity.map and this will be well we need to say uh, zero to quantity dot map this is n end I like a bit more space where's my water here we go Okay, awesome. So we have the right quantity being generated for this card. So we don't need to do that. <clears throat> so the return type of this, well, we don't really want to do this in initialize. I want to do this in def uh, generate. There we go. Okay, so this will return an array of card. Now we need some helper methods. Private get random name. Private def get random name. And that will return a string. <clears throat> and then we also need um, 
random miner, I'm going to call it. Uh, private def get random attack. Oops, string. Okay. So random. So I think these the health attack and mana are the easy ones because I could just say something like give me uh, any number. I was looking at this random thing earlier. Um, I could say uh, give me a number between one and. Uh, 10, a random number between 1 and 10. I think this still gives you 0. Um, so the other option is a check for 0. Yeah, okay. So let's try this. Random name, random mana, random attack, uh, random health. Private def get random health. Oh, health string. All right, let me uh, remind myself of the art. Um, top left is mana. Bottom left is a tap. Bottom right is health. So the maximum for any of these, I think, is I think it's going to be ten as the maximum right now. So when we have the random generated numbers, we should generate numbers between one and ten. I mean, I think we'll need to improve the random generation a bit later on because probably if your mana is ten, you won't wouldn't want the card to have an attack of one and a health of one um, seems a bit um, imbalanced uh, but to start with we'll just generate the um, the numbers between 1 and 10 then we'll come back and refine it a bit and I need to talk to the game designers a bit as well and just figure out what are realistic card numbers I mean I think they're going to use this this uh, app this uh, um, game mechanics uh, test app to tweak the mechanics so they'll have a good idea already of what values we need to put in here so that'll be good right back to admin generate random cards we put the quantity in we end up in here um, let's get random health first let's say I wonder if random takes more than one parameter. Let's check. Random. Uh, defined and secure. Where is random? Random type. Uh, no, it only takes the maximum. Yeah, it would be nice if it could take like a minimum and a maximum. We'll try this out in a sec. Okay, let's say that's the maximum 10. We'll do the same for attack. We'll do the same for mana. And let's need to generate some kind of random name here. But for now, I'll just hard code it to a name. I think the easiest way to test this is to write a spec. So we'll write a, um, a spec for generate, for the card generator. Card generator spec dot CR and then we'll just borrow the helper here and then we'll do uh, describe um, card generator do like this okay so card with spec um, it 
do stuff for now. And okay. Right. Is that the right structure? Yes, it is. So now I want to say a card generator is a card generator dot new. And we need to give it the um, deck themes. So that's to start with the angels. And let's say the rarity, we'll just go with rare. And the quantity, let's just say one right now. So now if I say um, result is cg dot generate, and we'll just p the result out here and see what we get. So we'll go here, let's make this a bit bigger. Super huge and give this a go. So let's go to uh, G and then we'll do crystal spec and we are in spec card generator spec. Okay, what's its problem? Um, it didn't like get random mana. Must be a string that ends. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just returning a number here. Um, we want strings out because we're going into the JSON DB. I mean, ultimately, probably better to put numbers. Uh, switch it to numbers, but I think that's a refactoring that I'll do in a bit. All right, so here's my card, um, and I got three of mana, seven, one of attack. So here we see you can have zeros. I don't really want zeros. Um, so I think what I'll do here is I'll say um, value, and I'll say uh, if. Let's say get random mana value value get random mana if a value is uh, less than one. Will that work? Oops, I just totally lost my mouse. <coughs> Got overexcited and held my mouse, <laughs> held my mouse onto the floor there. That was <laughs> a bit exciting. Okay. Um, yes, I see. Because value is a string. Yes. Let's do it here. If value to i, mm, it's not great. Uh, uh, uh. It's not great at all. Okay, I know what to do. We'll ditch this. Um, instead, we'll say. If value is zero string. Okay, total is string, not nil. Uh, value get random mana. Uh, can I call that here? If get random. If value. Just not returning it. Okay. That's the pattern. In fact, it kind of seems. Well, yes, I, I was going to try and refactor that a bit, but we do have uh, the same stuff nearly, but it's the um, the caller that's different in each one. Otherwise, I would have just uh, 
made it uh, a, a reusable function. Uh, but it's overcomplicating it, doing it that way right now. Right, so now we're on target to generate these cards. Yikes. Infinite recursion. What did I do? Get random mana. Your value is zero. Oh, yes. I really should 